it seems that more and more people want to know if they are a Sigma male or not. The truth is that knowing if you're a Sigma male, can help you learn more about yourself. You'll be able to understand yourself in ways that a lot of people can't. This personality type is very rare, and it can be difficult not knowing where you stand, simply because you may feel misunderstood, and people don't really ever know who you are deep down. The best way to find out for sure if you're a Sigma male is to answer these nine questions that can help you figure it all out. 1. Are you introverted? It's not enough to just know that you're an introverted personality type. Sure, you might get your energy from staying home instead of going out and being around other people, but that doesn't automatically make you a Sigma male. The way the introverted portion of a Sigma personality works is that they process and think internally. Meaning when you're presented with new information or a new situation, do you think through things in your head or do you prefer to discuss it with others? Sigma males do all their thinking inside, introverted, in their own minds. They seldom discuss it with other people until they've already finished working through whatever it is. 2. Do you have a plan for everything? Sigma males are planners. That's what you do and that's what you're best at. You really don't want to go into something without knowing what you're doing and at what time. When it comes to making plans with friends, you're usually the one to take the reins. You'll plan out everything you'll be doing, how long it'll take, and what you'll do afterward. This is why so many Sigmas tend to do so well in jobs that are organized and value planning. If you tend to be the planner in your group of friends, that brings you closer to being a Sigma. 3. Are you intrigued by ideas more so than casual conversation? If you're really a Sigma male, you don't really bond with people over idle discussions that don't have much essence on them. Meaning you want to talk about stuff that matters. Deep conversation is far more meaningful to you than just talking about the weather or what you had for lunch. That doesn't bring you closer to someone else. Discussing major concepts about religion, spirituality, the universe, and the like, help you connect with people a lot better. 4. Do you choose morals first or the end goal first when problem solving? Think about the way you solve a problem. What rules do you put in place in order to get to the best possible end result? Sigma males often put morals and what's right ahead of just getting the job done, something other personality types do. They'll think about all the options and go with the one that ends in the best possible outcome for everyone. 5. Are you efficient? This is basically a Sigma male superpower. You're really efficient. You get things done timely and with high quality. If people are slowing you down, you tend to take over and get it done as quickly as you can. This has a lot to do with being a planner. The more you prepare for situations, the faster you can get things done. 6. Do you always have the right way to do things? This is very much a Sigma male thing more so than any other personality type. You have a very specific way to get a job done and it's the right way to do it. If someone else is taking a different method, you may correct them simply because your way of doing it is usually more efficient and better for everyone involved. This personality tick can sometimes be irritating to others, but they can't really deny that you're right about it. 7. Do you offer solutions or emotional support when your friends need help? This is what might set you apart from others. Instead of offering your friend a shoulder to cry on, you immediately start listing off ways they can solve the problem or feel better. You show that you care by working on ways to make the problem disappear altogether, not allowing them to vent to you for no reason. If this sounds like something you do, chances are, you're a Sigma male. Your friends might even get upset with you for this, but they just don't understand where you're coming from. 8. Can you be yourself around strangers? Sigma males tend to be polite when meeting someone new, but they're a completely different person than when with their friends. If your friends know you as someone completely different than a stranger or just an acquaintance would, you are closer to being a Sigma. Your goofy, fun side comes out around your friends but anyone else will rarely see it, simply because you're not comfortable enough to open up that much around others. 9. Do you look to improve your flaws regularly? A lot of people might want to answer this as a yes, but be honest with yourself. 
Sigma males are the type of people who always work to improve things they're lacking when it comes to their personality. You'll be able to pinpoint a time when you did something that was less than well received and instead of just forgetting about it, you work to do better the next time something like that happens. Being a Sigma male is a great thing, but it can also be confusing. These nine questions can really help you to find out if you are a Sigma or not.